Alright, we're live. Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, and you king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, let you see the words of your Torah in the mouths and the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. <coughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, Elohim, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, you are the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence and none you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Malachi 3, 4 through 4, 6. Well, then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to Yahweh as in the days of old and as in former years. And then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired workers in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, against those who thrust aside the sojourner and do not fear me, says Yahweh of hosts. For I, Yahweh, do not change. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. From the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my statutes, and have not kept them. Return to me, and I return to you, says Yahweh of hosts. But you say, How shall we return? Will man rob Elohim? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, Have we robbed you? And your tithes and contributions? You are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe in the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Therefore put me to the test, says Yahweh of hosts. If I will not open the window of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need, I will rebuke the devourer for you, so that it will not destroy the fruits of your soil. And your vine in the field shall not fail to bear, says Yahweh of hosts. Then all nations will call you blessed. For you will be a land of delight, says Yahweh of hosts. Your words have been hard against me, says Yahweh. But you say, how have we spoken against you? You have said it is vain to serve Elohim. What is the profit of keeping his charge or of walking as in mourning before Yahweh of hosts? And now we call the arrogant blessed. Evildoers not only prosper, but they put Elohim to the test, and they escape. Then those who fear Yahweh spoke to one another. Yahweh paid attention and heard them, and a book of remembrance was written before him on those who feared Yahweh and esteemed his name. They shall be mine, says Yahweh of hosts. And the day when I make up my treasured possession... And I will spare them as a man spares a son who serves him. Then once more you shall see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves Elohim and the one who does not serve him. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oxen. Sorry, burning the oxen. Burning like an oven. When all the arrogant and all the evil doers will be stubble and the day that is coming shall be shall set them ablaze, says Yahweh of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. For you will, but for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings, and you shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day when I act, says Yahweh of hosts. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the statutes and the rules that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of Yahweh comes. Sorry, before the great and awesome day of Yahweh comes. Okay. 
And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest they come and strike the land with a decree of utter destruction. That ending could have gone a little better. Okay. Blessed art thou, Donai, king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, giver of the Torah. Bruket thou, Donai, melach halom. Ashen natan lenu tredi met vaishilom natan bete kenyu brukuta dona natin ha tara. I hope you guys have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.